हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड फ्रॉम लास्ट टू थ्री वीक्स माई शेड्यूल वॉज सो बिजी दैट आई डेंट गेट टाइम टू वर्क ऑन द वीडियोज एंड आई वॉज सो टायर्ड दैट आई डेंट फील लाइक टू गेट सम एक्स्ट्रा टाइम एंड देन रियली वर्किंग ऑन इट द अदर पार्ट इज दैट नेक्स्ट फ्यू मंथस आर गोइंग टू बी लाइक दैट सो द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द वीडियोज आर गोइंग टू बी लिटिल स्लोअर because i'm working on a development project this stage and then i have some of the tough deadlines uh, to deliver but having said that uh, i'll keep on coming uh, and then uh, prepare the videos as much as possible so i remember in my last video we were talking about sap script we did some of the operations on sap script we created a custom sap script now we are going to continue on the same thing so if you guys remember we created a custom form grb invoice 01 so today what we are going to do we are going to create a barcode so when we say barcode so barcode is nothing but a uh, Uh, character format which means if let's say there is a character for example a b c d we can do it uh, we can put it as a bold character we can do an italic for it we can do an underlining you can see here and so different operations we can do on uh on a character so let me just get into the sap script once again okay no no not this one we created a custom form g test underscore one okay yeah that one so i'm going to character format so as i said barcode is nothing but a character format let's say i create a character format c2 create new character format don't copy it okay and then from here you need to select a barcode which means a barcode type and then it could be any barcode type but it all depends on the barcode reader so when you are working in the real time environment there would be a vendor who will be supplying the barcode readers to your company and uh, based on that based on the capability of that barcode reader you need to choose a barcode type so here we have multiple types but i am choosing ean8 select this save it activate this go to your paragraph format no uh, page windows in the header window let's try to display something as barcode go to change editor so you can see we are displaying the customer details here and let's say we are trying to display this telephone number as a barcode or maybe address number as barcode so we created a character format c2 put it here then this close this so the character format beginning and end and in between we have the character which you want to showcase as a barcode so you can see some kind of barcode coming here so don't worry about it because we just chose a random format so we can see a barcode coming here there are various types of barcodes so the width of the characters 
or the lines might vary so but this is how we create a barcode okay so what we did we selected or we chose uh, an existing format there is another way of doing it let's say the format doesn't exist in uh, the list or the F4 help so what you need to do go to AC 73 this is AC 73 and here you can see SAP script font maintenance select system barcodes change here you'll see the list so from this list only we selected one if you remember we selected C128 right so <coughs> help on uh, sorry click on the create button new barcode technology yes G bar let's say a barcode and then you need to choose something let's say code 128 so you need to confirm these things with the vendor that we have these supported barcode symbologies and which one your machine is going to support most of the cases most of the machine support all the available symbologies hit ok normal rotated inverted bottom up so basically it's other way around inverted so different things but we are talking about normal here hit on normal it proposes a width height which is okay let's go ahead with this yes okay done you can see g bar So we can test it here barcode data let's say this print preview how it looks like click on so this is how it looks like this one makes more sense right some lines are more wider some lines are lesser I mean less wider so this is how a barcode looks like now what we can do so SE 73 I hope you guys got the concept go to SE 73 hit on system barcode, hit on change button, create, select, uh, give a barcode name and all and then all the details let's say so these things you need to validate with the vendor code 128 like that okay so now we have a barcode named G bar what you need to do go back to your character format and C2 change this to <coughs> hit F4 you'll find G bar here select form activate and then execute your program once again you will find a better barcode now nothing is there surprisingly okay so let me just check it out so looks like the encoding is not recognized on this SAP script but then that is the concept that is how you create a custom barcode here so what I'll do when once I'm taking the smart form sessions then I'll call that custom barcode for now just remember remember the concept of character format where we assign the barcode technique so for now I am taking it as a standard barcode only this one so this is how we create a barcode in SAP script and then I have another topic okay so we'll do one thing I'll just upload this video first and then I'll move to the other topic so meanwhile once again this is the new website sap-technical.weebly.com here I'll be uploading my all my videos and then as, I, as you can see the first page this is the first video and here you'll see the latest video so keep on visiting this page uh, regularly so that you can see if a new video is uploaded or not so that you can see here as of now it's day 28 so part 3 another video will be uploaded with day 28 part 4 very soon that is today so I'll stop here and if you like this video just hit on the like button on the YouTube page and I'll stop here and we'll prepare the next video uh, right away. Thank you.